Right, so hopefully I'll sort the audio out a bit and uh, we've got this sorted a bit. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video, I'm going to try and make videos um, where they're only like five minutes long each or, or just to stop me waffling on because if I start talking about Whitcomb Rule, Fuse Lounges and Tail Owens and all that sort of stuff. So this is just a split flap video, okay? Um, right, so if we see flaps on takeoff on the bottom of this Super Moving Swift, at the bottom, just see can't you see very well if you see the bottom surface of that wing you'll see better when it takes off okay bottom surface of that wing is just split down yeah so that flap is the top surface of the wing remains unchanged which means that the advantage of a split flap is the laminar flow on the top surface of the wing which is creating lift doesn't doesn't get disturbed okay so if we just take off there right climb a little bit and that'll get you a better view so there, you see the flaps on that one, on takeoff, bottom flaps of the Swift there, see under the wing. I'll tell you what, I'll put them all the way down to land in and see the better. So that huge panel at the bottom of the wing there opens up. Right, and now you can see if you take the line from the leading edge to the trailing edge, that's going to massively change the camber and angle of attack of the bottom surface of the wing. Okay, you up there you get a better view of the flaps on their own. See that? Right. Head on you can see there's quite a lot of surface area sticking out there so that's going to be creating quite a lot of drag. Okay and we'll, we'll show you what that does when we come in here and land the aircraft. So if we leave them down in the landing con configuration right? so without the extra drag of the fuse lot, uh, sorry, without the extra drag of the undercarriage if we chop the throttle down to nothing there see that the aircraft is in a nose down attitude about 30 degrees nose down 20 or 30 degrees nose down 255 knots and it's not getting any faster yeah it is not speeding up so that allows you when you level out level the nose of the aircraft see if you watch the altitude the speed drops off the altitude drops very very slowly so even they've got we've got a bit of nose up yeah we're just gliding down there slowing down slowing down if you maintain using the engine speed if you maintain the speed to about 150 knots you should get a nice steady landing okay yeah see the drop that's sinking now uh, yeah watch the altitude sinking down a bit more now will eventually stall right but that's the advantage of all all flaps do that that's what flaps do. give you more lift they allow you to keep the aircraft at a nose, uh, a level attitude whilst um, slowing down and slowing down. And, uh, right, so back right now, 260 knots. Yeah. So come at the landing, we'll drop the, drop the landing gear down, drop the flaps down, landing. No air brakes on this aircraft, chop the power down, as you can see, 250. Level out now. Yep, 200 knots. And then the aircraft should just slowly come down without stalling, maintain that lift, all the drag as well. Very gently. 139, 140 knots just on the road. Yeah. So you can land with with flaps. The advantage of the split flap is at a high angle of attack it will give you less turbulent airflow over the top surface of the wing. That's all I'm gonna do on split flaps for now.